Misa hii ya leo imeombwa na Elizabeth Nganga akimshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yote ambaye amemjalia na kumtendea katika maisha yake. Na walikeni nyote katika adhimisho ya ibada hii ya misa. Tungari tunazidi kuombea umoja wa Wakristo. Mwili mmoja na roho moja kama mlivyoitwa katika tumaini moja ndio wito wenu kuna bwana mmoja imani moja ubatizo mmoja tena Mungu mmoja ndiye baba ya wote aliye juu ya wote na katika yote na ndani yenu nyote kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu bwana awe nanyi ndugu zangu tukiri dhambi zetu tupate kustahirishwa kuadhimisha mafumbo haya Na mungamia Mungu mwenyezi na ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa matendo kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na muomba Maria mwenye heri bikra daima maraika na watakatifu wote nanyi ndugu zangu niombeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu Mwenyezi atuhurumia tusamehe dhambi zetu na atufikishe kwenye uzima wa milele. Bwana utuhurumie. Kristu utuhurumie. Bwana utuhurumie. Tuombe. E Bwana, tunakuomba uwatazame kwa wema watu wako na kwa rehema yako uamiminie mapaji ya roho wako ili daima waendelee kukua katika kupendana ukweli watafute umoja kamili wa, wa Kristu kwa bidii na kwa matendo kwa jia bwana wetu Yesu Kristu mwanao anaishi na kutana nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele <coughs> somo katika kitabu cha pili cha Samueli Siku zile Daudi alienda akalipandisha sanduku la Mungu kutoka nyumba ya Obed Edomu hadi katika mji wa Daudi kwa shangwe ikawa watu waliochukua sanduku la Bwana walipopiga hatua sita Daudi akachinja ngombe na kondoo mnono kuwa sadaka akiwa amevaa naivera ya kitani Daudi alicheza mbele ya Bwana kwa nguvu zake zote Daudi na taifa lote la Israeli wakalipandisha sanduku la Bwana kwa shangwe na sauti ya baragumu wakaliingiza sanduku la Bwana na kuliweka mahali pake katikati ya hema aliyopiga Daudi kwa ajili yake naye Daudi akatolea sadaka za kuteketezwa na sadaka za amani mbele ya Bwana alipomaliza kutolea sadaka hizo mbele ya Bwana wa majeshi Daudi akawabariki watu kwa jina la Bwana wa majeshi kisha akawagawia watu wote wa Israeli waume kwa wake kila mtu mkate wa ngano na kipande cha nyama na mkate wa zabibu kavu halafu watu wote wakaenda zao kila mtu nyumbani kwake neno la Bwana Zaburi ya kuitikizana ni nani mfalme wa utukufu ndiye Bwana mfalme wa utukufu ndiye Bwana Ni nani mfalme wa utukufu 
ndiye bwana nani mfalme wa utukufu ndiye bwana ni nani mfalme wa utukufu ndiye bwana Inweni vichwa vyenu eni malango inukeni eni malango ya kale na aingie mfalme wa utukufu kitikio Ni nani huyu mfalme wa utukufu ndiye bwana mwenye nguvu na enzi bwana hodari wa vita kitikio inueni vichwa vyenu eni malango inukeni eni malango ya kale Mfalme wa utukufu na apate kuingia kuitikio Ni nani huyu mfalme wa utukufu ndiye bwana wa majeshi ndiye mfalme wa utukufu kitikio Shangilio ya injili Aleluya Utukuzwe baba Bwana wa mbingu na dunia kwa kuwa umewafunulia watoto wachanga mafumbo ya ufalme. Ah oh. thank you Lord. Bwana awe na Somo la injili takatifu ilivyoandikwa na Marko utukufu akoebwa wakati ule mama na dugu zake Yesu walifika nao wakasimama nje Walituma habari kwake kwa maana alizungukwa na watu wengi basi wakamwambia Tazama mama yako na ndugu zako wapo nje wana kutafuta lakini aliwajibu Mama yangu na ndugu zangu ni akina nani akawatazama wale waliomzunguka akasema Hawa ni mama yangu ni ndugu zangu kwa maana kila afanyaye mapenzi ya Mungu huyo ndiye kaka yangu na dada yangu na mama yangu injili ya bwana sifako katika muktadha ama ule, uh, ulingo wa kisiasa najua mambo ni matatu hata katika tafakari ya leo mimi niko na mambo matatu la kwanza ni saduku la agano la kale ambalo sasa Daudi after kutoa mji 
kutoa mji wa Yerusalemu kutoka kwa wana Jebusites ambao tulisikia kinaya <coughs> jana waki wakisema Daudi hawezi unyakuwa ule mji anaamua sababu ya kuleta ufame wa Israeli pamoja aweke saduku la agano katika mji wa Yerusalemu au lete karibu ili wana wa Yuda na wengine wa Israeli waweze kukua wakikuja pamoja kuabudu kwanza kabisa walikuwa na jaribio la kuleta saduku la agano Yerusalemu lakini kukakuwa na hitilafu kidogo sababu katika Torati na kubukubu la Torati Musa alikuwa amewaambia saduku la agano lisibebwe na mkokoteni not but to be carried by the poles not by the cart lakini wakaweza kulibeba kwa mkokoteni kume lakini likaenda kuanguka na kijana mmoja alikuwa anaitwa Uza wakati alilishikiria sababu yeye hakuwa katika wa, uh, familia ya Walawi makuhani wakati aliguza kulishikilia akakufa kwa hivyo saduku la agano halikufika Yerusalemu kwa huo muda likakaa miezi mitatu mahali ambapo tumesikia kunaitwa Obed Edom huko lilikaa miezi mitatu kwa yule aliyekuwa kuhani kwa wakati ule lakini katika hili jaribio la pili saduku la agano limefika Yerusalemu na Daudi ambaye ni mfalme leo tunaona amekuwa pia kama kuhani na katika nchi ya Israeli anajulikana kama kwa lugha ya kimombo alikuwa na royal priesthood sababu tunajua kwamba hata uibaji wa zaburi katika hekalu ya Yerusalemu wanamsifu sana Daudi kama mwanzilishi walitujia ya temple worship in the Jerusalem hata kama hakulijenga hekalu lakini kwa kuweka mikakati mizuri ya waibaji wa zaburi katika nchi ya Israeli kwa hivyo alileta reformation ya liturgia katika hiyo nchi na wakati ambapo saduku la agano linafika Daudi tunaona akisifu Mungu mpaka nguo zake zinaanguka jambo la pili ni ambalo tumesikia katika injili sisi tunataka kujumuishwa katika familia ya Kimungu lakini tutajumuishwa aje katika hii familia ya Kimungu kwanza kabisa tulijumuishwa kwa kushiriki katika ubatizo lakini la pili na la muhimu zaidi ni kufuata mafundisho ya Mungu na kufanya mapenzi yake kila wakati hivyo ndivyo Kristo anasema ndugu zangu dada zangu mama zangu ni akina nani ni hao ambao wanafanya mapenzi ya Kimungu ili wakati ambapo tunaguzana na vitu vitakatifu tusiwe kama mauza tusife yasituletee madhara katika mafundisho ya ekaristia ya mtakatifu Paulo anasema wakati ambapo tunapokea ekaristia na hatujajiandaa vizuri tunajiletea hukumu katika mioyoni mwetu na hiyo ndio sababu tunaona watu wengi ni wagonjwa hata wengine wamekufa sisi tukitaka kuwa familia ya Kimungu sababu Mungu huwa anatushirikisha katika neno lake katika kusherekea liturjia yake waka, uh, kila wakati tunapaswa kuwa watu wa kutimiza mapenzi ya Mungu na tukishafanya hayo sisi tutaitwa wana wa Mungu na tutakuwa ndugu zake Kristu, dada zake Kristu. katika hii hali ya kusikiza mapenzi ya Mungu na kuyatimiza tunaona Bikra Maria kama mfano mwema ambaye katika lugha ya kanisa na litania ya, ya, ya rozari takatifu ya mama Maria tunajua huwa kwamba ni saduku la agano saduku la agano jipya ni bikra maria kwa sababu gani bikra maria kwa miezi mitatu alienda kumtembelea elizabeti katika milimani juda wakati ambapo nimewaambia pia saduku la agano la kale lilikaa miezi mitatu edom obed edom Maria kama saduku la agano akaenda akakaa miezi mitatu na Elizabeth kumhudumia. Wakati ambapo alimtembelea Elizabeth, Yohana mbatizaji kama mnazari alicheza cheza akiwa tumboni mwa mamake kama ambavyo tumeona katika hiyo taswira ya Daudi kusherekea saduku la agano. 
kile ambacho kilikuwa ndani ya saduku la agano ni nini ilikuwa mawe mawili ya amri kumi za Mungu hapo ndipo tunapata mapenzi ya Mungu ni, ni gani katika amri zake kumi tunaweza kutambua mapenzi ya Mungu katika saduku la agano pia kulikuwa na mana yale mana ambayo Mungu aliwajalia jangwani walikuwa wameweka hapo na Yesu tunajua ni yeye mkate wa uzima is the bread of life na alibebwa na bikra maria he is the one we are going to receive in this liturgy kwa hivyo bikra maria ana qualify anakuwa saduku la agano na pia saduku la agano lilikuwa limebeba fimbo ya aroni the aron uh, the aron road ile ambao waliweza kuipokea wakati ambapo walifika ku ku, ku kuspai mji wa Kanani na katika hiyo tunaona ukuhani wa milele wa Haruni na huu ukuhani wa milele una Yesu Kristo ambaye ni kuhani hata milele na Bikra Maria ni yeye alimtoa katika mimba yake kwa hivyo agano saduku la agano jipya ni mama yetu Bikra Maria tumuombe ili kwa kufuata mfano wake bora wa kutimiza na kuyafanya mapenzi ya Mungu azidi kutuombea katika hii safari ili wakati ambapo tunaenda kupoteza matumaini wakati ambapo tunaenda kutosikiza mapenzi ya Mungu na kutoyafanya tupate nguvu ya kuamka na kuinuka tena tumsifu Yesu Kristo Wimbo nambari 320 ukurasa wa 193 320 page 193 Mungu ni pendo apenda watu Mungu ni pendo anipenda Sikilize shetani sikilize ni furaha yangu mungu ni pendo anipenda akafa yesu kani komboa yeye kani Salini dogo ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubariki kwa Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. E Bwana, dhabihu tunayo kutolea itutakaze na iwafanye wote walioungama kwa ubatizo mmoja wae hatimaye washiriki wa mafumbo haya kwa jia Kristu Bwana wetu. Bwana awe nanyi. Ninueni mioyo. Tumshukuru Bwana Mungu wetu. Kweli ni vema na haki kukushukuru na kukuimbia utenzi kwa utukufu na sifa. E Bwana Baba ulie mwema na wema wako usio na mwisho. Kwa neno la injili ya mwanao Ulikusanya kanisa lililo moja kutoka katika kila taifa lugha na nchi na ulilipatia uhai kwa nguvu ya roho wako mtakatifu wala huachi kuwakusanya kwa jia yake watu wote katika umoja kwa kudhihirisha agano la upendo wako kanisa 
linawapa wanadamu tumaini lenye heli la ufalme wako bila kikomo na linaangaa zaidi kama ishara ya uaminifu wako ambao ndani ya Kristu Yesu Bwana wetu uliahidi litadumu milele kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na nguvu zote za mbinguni tunakutukuza kila wakati hapa duniani pamoja na kanisa nzima tukisema kwa sauti moja E Mungu kweli umtakatifu na wastahili kutukuzwa. Wewe unawapenda wanadamu na nyakati zote unawabatana nao katika safari ya maisha. Na mwanao kweli yu mbarikiwa ye aliye katikati yetu kila tunapokusanywa na upendo wake. Naye kama Ulivyo mfanya zamani kwa wafuasi wake anatufumbulia maandiko na kutu, kutu megea mkate kwa hiyo Bwana mwingi wa huruma tunakuomba umtume roho wako mtakatifu atakatifunze vipaji hivi vya mkate na difai ili viwe kwetu mwili na damu ya Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo yeye aliye tutangulia kuteswa kwake aliye tangulia kuteswa kwake usiku kwa huruma kuu ya mwisho alitoa mkate kabariki akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema roheni mle nyote huo ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Hivyo hivyo baada ya kula akakitoa kikombe akashukuru akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Toaeni mnywe nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya na la milele itakayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu fumbo la imani e bwana tunatangaza kifo chako kwa hiyo e bwana baba ulie mtakatifu sisi nasi tunapoadhimisha ukumbusho wa Kristu mwanao na mkombozi wetu ulie muongoza kwenye utukufu wa ufufuko kwa kupitia mateso na kifo cha msalaba umetikisha kuume kwake tunatangaza kazi ya upendo wako paka atakapokuja na tunakutolea mkato wa uzima na kikombe cha baraka uwe ladhi kuitazama dhabihu ya kanisa lako kwa njia hiyo tunakutolea sadaka ya kipasaka ya Kristu aliyotolewa kwa ajili yetu kwa nguvu ya roho wa upendo wako utujalie tuhesabiwe sasa na mpaka siku ya umilele miongoni mwa viungo vya mwanao ambaye tunashiriki mwili na damu yake. E Bwana, ulifanye upya kwa mwanga wa injiri kanisa lako. Uimarishe kifungo cha umoja katika waamini na wachungaji wa watu wako pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco. Askofu wetu Filipo Anyolo na Daudi kama msaidizi wake na maaskofu wote ili taifa lako lipate kung'aa kama ishara ya kinabii na umoja na mafikiano katika ulimwengu huu uliojeruhiwa kwa mafarakano Wakumbuke ndugu zetu Joseph Gaido walio lala katika amani ya Kristu wako na marehemu wote ambao imani
imani yao ulijua wewe peke yako uwapokee wafurahie nuru ya uso wako na uwajalie utimilifu wa uzima katika ufufuko utujalie na sisi tukiisha kumaliza maisha hapa duniani tuyafikie makao ya milele ambapo tutaishi daima pamoja nawe na kwa kushirikiana na Bikra Maria mama wa Mungu pamoja na mtakatifu Yosefu pamoja na mitume na mashahidi na watakatifu wote tutakusifu na kukutukuza kwa jea ya Kristu mwanao kwa jia yake na pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote na utukufu milele na milele Kwa kulitia agizo la mwokozi wetu na tukifuata mafundisho yake ya kimungu tunadhubutu kusema baba yetu uliye binguni tupeleo mkato wetu wa kila siku. Tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi walio tukosea. Sifiki katika shawishi. E bwana tunakuomba utuopoe katika maovu yote, utujalie kwa ema amani maishani mwetu. Kusudi kwa msaada wa huruma yako, tuopolewe daima na dhambi, wala tusifadhaishwe na jambo lolote. Tunapotazamia tumaini lenye heli na ujio wa mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo. E Bwana Yesu Kristo uliwaambia mitume wako amani na wachieni amani yangu na wapa usistazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala milele na milele. Amani ya Kristo iwe daima nanyi. Mpeane amani. Mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama mwana kondoo wa Mungu. Tazama waondoe dhambi za ulimwengu. Heli yao walio aliko kwenye karamu ya mwana kondoo. Mwili na damu ya Kristu itulinde tufike katika uzima wa milele. wimbo nambari 199 ukurasa wa 154 page 154 
Liwake Kweli Nadamu Yake Ali Sema Bwana Twae Ni Wote Mnye Ni Damu Yangu Ini Karamu Uzima Waro Yumo Bwana Yesu Kwa Mwili Wake Kweli Nadamu Yake Nasi twa sadiki ni mwili wake kweli na damu yake ni karamu uzima wa roho yumo bwana yesu kwa mwili wake kweli na damu yake ali tuwa muru Kufanya hivyo kwa ukumbusho wake Ini karamu uzima wa roho Yumo bwana yesu kwa mwili wake Kweli na damu yake Roho ya Kristo initakase mwili wa Kristo uniokoe damu ya Kristo inichangamshe maji ya ubavu wa Kristo yanioshe mateso ya Kristo nguvu yanizidishie e Yesu mwema unisikilize katika madonda yako unifiche usikubali nitengane nawe na adui mwovu nikinge saya kufa kwangu niite uniamuru kwako nije na watakatifu wako nikutukuze Milele na milele. Amina. Wote wawe kitu kimoja. Kama wewe baba ulivyo dani yangu na mi dani yako. Hao nawe wawe dani yetu. Mimi dani yao nawe dani yangu ili wae kamili katika umoja tuombe e bwana tumepokea sakramenti ya kristu wako na kuomba upeleke tena katika kanisa lako ile neema ya utakatifu ulioipatia na uwajalie wote wanao jisifia kuitwa wa kristu wastahili kukutumikia wawe katika umoja wa imani kwa jina Kristu bwana wetu tafakali ya siku ya sita ya Christian unity the bible the then living he put him on his own animal brought him to an inn and took care of him lord turn our churches into inns to welcome those in need The man who fell into the hands of robbers was cared by a Samaritan. The Samaritan saw beyond prejudice or bias. He saw someone in need and brought him to an inn. The next day, he took out two denarii, gave them to innkeeper and said, Take care of him, and when I come back, I will repay you whatever more you have spent. In any human society, Hospitality and solidarity are essential. They require the welcoming of strangers, foreigners, migrants, 
and the homeless people. Whoever, however, when faced with insecurity, suspicion and violence, we tend to mistrust our neighbors. It is important witness to the gospel, particularly in the context of religious and cultural pluralism. Welcoming others and is at the heart of your ecumenical dialogue. Christians are charged to turn to inns where our neighbors can find Christ. Such hospitality is a sign of love that our churches have for one another and for all. When we of Christ move beyond our confessional traditions and choose to practice ecumenically the hospitality, we move from being strangers to being neighbors. Let us pray. Father of love, in Jesus you showed us the meaning of hospitality by caring for our fragile humanity. Help us to become a community that welcome those who feel abandoned and lost, building a house where all are welcome. May we come closer to one another as we offer the world your unconditional love. This we pray in the unity of the Holy Spirit. We let's pause and say, Amen. Buana awe nanyi. Awabariki mungu mwenyezi, baba, na mwana, na roho mtakatifu. Nende ni na amani. Wimbo nambari miambili, shirini na moja, ukurasa wa miamoja, sitini na mbili. Two, two, one, page 162. I danced in the morning when the world was begun And I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance city And I lead you all Wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance city. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance city, and I lead you all. Wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance city. Capuchin TV. Forward ever, backward never. Let us move ahead and so on. Even children, kuna kakitu, tunaweza kufanya. Ili, kanisa, iweze kumeta meta. Endelea kutazama. Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. No hay que tenerle miedo a la diversidad de carismas en la Iglesia. Al contrario, hay que alegrarse de vivir esta diversidad. Ya en las primeras comunidades cristianas, diversidad y unidad estaban muy presentes y era una tensión que debe resolverse en un plano superior. Más aún, para avanzar por el camino de la fe, necesitamos también el diálogo ecuménico con los hermanos y hermanas de otras confesiones y comunidades cristianas. No como algo que confunde o que molesta, sino como un regalo que Dios hace a la comunidad cristiana para que crezca como un solo cuerpo, el cuerpo de Cristo. Pensemos, por ejemplo, en las iglesias orientales, tienen unas tradiciones propias, unos ritos litúrgicos característicos, pero mantienen la unidad de la fe, la refuerzan, no la dividen. Si nos guiamos 
por el Espíritu Santo la riqueza, la variedad, la diversidad nunca provocan un conflicto. El Espíritu nos recuerda que ante todo somos hijos amados de Dios. Todos iguales en el amor de Dios y todos diferentes. Oremos al Espíritu Santo para que nos ayude a reconocer el don de los diferentes carismas dentro de las comunidades cristianas y a descubrir la riqueza de las diferentes tradiciones rituales dentro de la Iglesia Católica. And I pray for all those who are in the Caption TV. They have helped us to know the Word of God. We normally see them in the Caption TV. And uh, I'd encourage many other congregations to join hands to help them so that they can send their celebrations. They can request them to come and uh, air their celebrations in the TV. And that's the only way we can join hands with the Caption TV. I'll like to urge the, uh, the you know, congregations of sisters all over and the priests all over and the brothers, wherever you are, please come let us join hands together and help the Caption TV so that we can see them grow because it is not easy. Left alone, they cannot manage. But if we, sh we hold hands together with them, we are going to preach the gospel of God. We can also advertise our talents, whatever we have. If we have uh, like dressmaking schools, we have secondary schools, primary schools, we can, we can contact them and they'll help us to advertise and then we are going to grow together. Thank you so much, Capuchin TV and the Capuchin priests and brothers and may God bless you in a very big way as you celebrate your celebrations. We are together with you. Shangwe no furaha, tuimbe kwa shangwe na furaha, bwana ametu fanya maku tuimbe kwa shangwe na furaha, tuimbe kwa shangwe na furaha, bwana ametu fanya maku. Welcome to our today's celebration. And today's mass is requested by Ferista Jerry Susan Wairimo, praying for special intentions. John Keheko and Margaret Mudoni, praying for the departed souls. We remember the soul of Joseph Ochieng. We also offer our personal intentions. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to cause. You are seated in the right for us. Lord, have mercy. Your mighty God, have mercy. And bring us to the land. Let us pray. Over to the prayers of your people, O Lord. That the hearts of believers be united in your praise and so that. Overcome 
we may hasten with joy to enter into eternal kingdom in the perfect communion of the church. The Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the second book of Samuel. In those days, David went and brought up the ark of God from the house of Obededam to the city of David with rejoicing. And when those who bore the ark of the Lord had gone six paces, he sacrificed an ox and a flatling. And David danced before the Lord with all his mighty. And David was belted with a linen ephod. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and with the sound of the horn. And they brought the ark of the Lord and set in it in its place inside the tent which David had pitched for it. And David offered burnt offerings and peace offerings before the Lord. And when David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord of hosts and distributed among all the people the whole multitude of Israel, both men and women, to each a cake of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. Then all the people departed, each to his house. The word of the Lord. To God. Responsorial Psalm. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. O gates, lift high your heads, Grow higher, ancient doors, let him enter the king of glory. Who is it the king of glory? Is it the Lord? Who is the king of glory? It is the Lord. Who is the king of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. Who is it the king of glory? Is it the Lord? Who is the King of the glory? It is the Lord. O gates, lift high your heads. Grow higher, ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is it the King of glory? Is it the Lord? Who is the King of glory? It is the Lord. Who is it the King of glory? He, the Lord of hosts, he is the King of glory. Who is it the King of glory? Is it the Lord? Kindly arise for gospel acclamation. Hallelujah. 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 Blessed are you, the Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have revealed to the little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. At that time, the mother of Jesus and his brethren came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. And a crowd was sitting about him, 
And they said to him, Your mother and your brethren are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brethren? And looking around on those who sat about him, he said, Here are my mother and my brethren. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, Jesus Christ is asking us a very fundamental question. Who are my mother and my brethren? And in this question, he teaches a very important point in our lives. That there is a deeper relationship or a more profound relationship rather than the relationship by consanguinity. There is a deeper relationship rather than our blood relations. And this is what Jesus is teaching us this morning. He is now moving us from our relationship with our brothers and sisters, from the relationship through blood to a higher relationship that is relationship with God by listening and fulfilling his word. It is important to note these people who are relatives of Jesus Christ came and they were calling him outside. They were calling him outside to where they were. Let us ask ourselves this question. When do we enter into that relationship, that deeper relationship with Jesus Christ? Is it when we call him to come to us, or is it when we go to him? Do you want Jesus Christ to come and be like us, or Jesus Christ to be what we want him to be? Or do we dispose ourselves to Jesus Christ so that we may become what he wants us to be? These relatives of Jesus Christ they wanted to possess him. And in this, they wanted Jesus Christ to become what they wanted and not what he is. The true relationship with Jesus Christ is not when we call him and he wa when we want him to be what we want ourselves, but is when we let him to be who he is and align ourselves with who Jesus Christ is. That is now how we enter into the deeper relationship with him. And as it is indicated, that deeper relationship comes in two ways. In listening to the word of God and fulfilling it in our lives. That is summarized in only one word, obedience. Whoever fulfills the will of my father becomes my mother my brother or my sister. Those are the words of Jesus Christ. We can only enter into that relationship when we listen to him and fulfill God's will, and that is through obedience. That relationship makes us a one father. You realize Jesus Christ is only saying, those who start listening to him and fulfilling what he teaches. Those are his mother, those are his brothers, and those are his sisters. But he never mentions father. Because we are only to become a Dawan father. And even as we continue in the week of Christian unity, praying for the unity of all the Christians, it reminds us that all of us belong to the same Father. All of us are children of the same Father. But you realize we can become mothers of Jesus Christ. How do we become mothers of Jesus Christ? A mother gives birth. 
All of us, we are called to give birth to Jesus Christ. It is not through physical way, but in a spiritual way. Whenever we live the word of God by being obedient to him, we continue to propagate the word of God, and that word of God is Jesus Christ, the embodied word of God. We are called, therefore, to propagate that word of God, having lived it through proclamation, as Sunday we celebrated the Sunday of the word of God, but more in living that word of God in our brothers or in our lives to help our brothers and sisters. In the first reading, we hear David entering into or, or undergoing an ecstasy. And the reason why he is undergoing that is because the ark of God has been brought to live in the tent he had constructed. The ark of God was a symbol of the presence of the Lord. And David experienced the presence of God in a very deep way. And in that experience, he had only one thing to do, to glorify God through offering sacrifice and even doing charity by distributing food to his brothers and sisters. What made David to experience that ecstasy? It is because of obedience. God chose him to become a king after Saul refused to obey God. Even for us, we'll be able to experience God in our presence when we obey him. And when we obey him, he'll transform us so that we may also become a blessing to our brothers and sisters. There is no person who obeys God and does not become a blessing to other people. These two relationships, they go together. Relationship with God and relationship with our brothers and sisters. Let us pray today that as we continue now to move to where Christ is by listening to him and going to where he is, we may truly be transformed, and being transformed, we may become real brothers and sisters and mothers, and we may be able to spread the fatherness or to spread the word of God and even the kingdom of God in this world by becoming whom we are listening to and by becoming the one who has called us now and even forever. To Msifu Yesu Christo. Hymn number 318, hymn number 318 on page 192. Mungu baba pokea sadaka yetu leo, tuwa kutolea kwa jina la mwana. Ya abeli na Ibrahimi likupendeza, yetu baba ipendeze upoke, upoke. Yetu ndilo fumbo la kukupendeza la baba na mwana na roho takatifu la baba na mwana na roho takatifu Joni wate tutoe sadaka yetu leo Kwa sifa na utukufu wake mwenyezi Mkate huu na diva iviwe mwili wake Kwa heshi maku sadaka tumtole Upoke Dilo fumbo la kukupendeza La baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu La baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu 
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and the board of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through him you brought us to the knowledge of truth, so that by the board of one faith and one baptism we might become his body. Through him you poured out your Holy Spirit among all the nations so that in a wondrous manner he might prompt and engender unity in the diversity of your gifts, dwelling within your adopted children and filling and ruling the whole church. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. You are indeed holy to be glorified, O God, who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Best indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for his disciples, so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross, to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chance of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us. And grant that by the power of the Spirit of your love, we may be counted now until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Lord, 
renew your church by the light of the gospel. Strengthen the board of unity between the faithful and the pastors of your people. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip, our Bishop, David, his auxiliary Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, that in a world torn by strife, your people may shine forth as a prophetic sign of unity and concord. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection give them the fullness of, your li the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most dear spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exhort you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, may we be thy on our lives. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope at the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Hymn number 523, hymn number 523 on page 264. <speaking in Hebrew> Tujita kasembele ya kwenda kwa karamuhi Tuenda ni tuende kumpoke Tuende watakatifu Kale kate wa uzima Tuende watakatifu Kale kate wa uzima Karibu kwangu Yesu, ukae kwangu daima Tuende ni tuende kumpoke, nifunze njia yako Kale mkate wa uzim, nifunze njia yako Kale mkate wa uzim Na kwa uwezo wako, imani yangu na kiri Tuende ni tuende kumpoke, diwe mungu mokozi Kale kate wa uzima, diwe mungu mokozi Tukale kate wa uzima Usi tuwache basi, pamoja na si ukae. Tuende ni tuende kuke, kwa kuwa kume kucha. Kale mkate wa uzi. Kwa kuwa kume kucha, tukale mkate wa uzi. Moja na si ukae Tuende ni tuende Kumpokea kwa kuwa kume kuchu Tukale kate wa uzi Kwa kuwa kume kuchu Tukale kate wa uzi Na tufurahi mwishu Pamoja baba milele Tuende ni tuende kumpokea kwa umoja na roo Tukale kate wa uzim kwa umoja na roo Tukale kate wa uzim Prayer after Holy Communion, soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, inebriate me, water from the side of Christ, wash me, passion of Christ, strengthen me, O good Jesus, heal me, within thy wounds hide me, permit me not to be separated from thee, from the weak and fall, defend me, at the hour of my death, call me, and bid me come unto thee, that with thy angels and saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray. Pour out on us the spirit of your love and in your kindness make those who believe in you one in mind and heart by the power of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Let us continue praying together for the Christian unity and today we are in day six. Then he put him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Luke chapter 10, verse 34. Lord, turn our churches into inns to welcome those in need. The man who fell into the hands of the robbers was cared for by a Samaritan. The Samaritan so beyond prejudice or bias. He saw someone in need and brought him to an inn. The next day he took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him and when I come back, I'll repay you whatever more you spend. In any human society, Hospitality and solidarity are essential. They require the welcoming of strangers, foreigners, migrants, and homeless people. However, when faced with insecurity, suspicion, and violence, we tend to mistrust our neighbors. Hospitality is an important witness to the gospel, particularly in context of religious and cultural pluralism. Welcoming the other and being welcomed in turn is at the heart of ecumenical dialogue. Christians are challenged to turn our churches into inns where our neighbors can find Christ. Such hospitality is a sign of the love that our churches have for one another and for all. When we as followers of Christ move beyond our confessional traditions and choose to practice ecumenical hospitality, we move from being strangers to being neighbors. Let us pray together. Father of love, in Jesus, you showed us the meaning of hospitality by caring for our fragile humanity. Help us to become a community that welcomes those who feel abandoned and lost, building a house where all are welcome. May we come closer to one another as we offer the world your unconditional love. This we pray in the unity of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace of Christ, love and serve one another. Our Mass is ended. Our recessional hymn, hymn number 559, hymn number 559 on page 275. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord, we are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord and we pray that all unity may one day be restored and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand we will walk with each other we will walk hand in hand and together we'll spread the news that God is in our land and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love we will walk with each other we will walk side by side we will walk with each other we will walk 
side by side and we'll guard each man's dignity and save each man's pride and they'll know we are Christians by our love by our love yes they'll know we are Christians by our love all praise to the Father from whom all things come and all praise to Christ Jesus, He is only Son, and all praise to the Spirit who makes us one, and they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. Capuchin TV. Forward ever, backward never. Let us move ahead and so on. Even children, kuna kakitu, tunaweza kufanya. Ili, kanisa, iweze kumeta meta. Endelea kutazama. Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. No hay que tenerle miedo a la diversidad de carismas en la Iglesia. Al contrario, hay que alegrarse de vivir esta diversidad. Ya en las primeras comunidades cristianas, diversidad y unidad estaban muy presentes y era una tensión que debe resolverse en un plano superior. Más aún, para avanzar por el camino de la fe, necesitamos también el diálogo ecuménico con los hermanos y hermanas de otras confesiones y comunidades cristianas. No como algo que confunde o que molesta, sino como un regalo que Dios hace a la comunidad cristiana para que crezca como un solo cuerpo, el cuerpo de Cristo. Pensemos, por ejemplo, en las iglesias orientales. Tienen unas tradiciones propias, unos ritos litúrgicos característicos, pero mantienen la unidad de la fe, la refuerzan, no la dividen. Si nos guiamos por el Espíritu Santo, la riqueza, la variedad, la diversidad, nunca provocan un conflicto. El Espíritu nos recuerda que ante todo somos hijos amados de Dios. Todos iguales en el amor de Dios y todos diferentes. Oremos al Espíritu Santo para que nos ayude a reconocer el don de los diferentes carismas dentro de las comunidades cristianas y a descubrir la riqueza de las diferentes tradiciones rituales dentro de la Iglesia Católica. Tukiebrez ETV ya Kapchin, tutaweza kufikia watu wengi huko na wataweza kumfahamu Kristu na injili itaweza kuenea. Mara nyingi wakipeperusha ujumbe wao, huwa kuna namba hapo chini pia wameandika. Hiyo namba, tuma chochote kile uko nachos, hautumi mtu, unatuma ili kazi ya mungu ifikie wale wengine ambapo hawajaweza kumjua Kristu. Kwa mfano wakati wa corona, wametusaidia sana. Saa hii mahali naishi naishi kwa muda mfupi niko voi mahali masisa wetu wakizeeka wanaishi 
na kila Jumapili hata tumeenda misa tumemaliza misa saa ine hivi Jumapili unasikia tuwekee Kaptini TV tuwekee tunataka kuona leo wanasoma misa wapi kwa hivyo katika hiyo hali wanaweza pia kwa mafundisho mahubiri yenye yana yanapeperushwa hapo inaendelea pia kuwajenga kiroho kwa hivyo wakati tunachangia ni kwa ajili ya uenezaji wa injili kwa hivyo nawaalika wote pia tuwaweze kwa kwa support ili mahali hatuwezi tukafika kwa mguu wao watatusaidia kumfikia Kristo mahali walipo asante sana captain asanteni sana You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember, to keep a copy of your communication with us keep watching capuchin tv your catholic identity It is with heavy heart and humble acceptance of God's will that we announce the passing on of Benedict Wairimo Idhari of Njoro constituency, Lare Ward, Pwani location. She was daughter to the late Ishmael Idhari Thaigo and the late Beatrice Wanjiko Idhari, sister to the late Nyambura, late Wamboi, late Gaido, Wanja and Susan. Mother to Reverend Father Dr. Professor Joseph Idhari Gaido, Principal of Loreto Boys Secondary School Nakuru, Samuel Anthony Gaido of USA, Moses Kagiri, Molo SCH, and Beatrice Wanjiko, a business lady. Mother-in-law of Monica Warao Gaido and Julia Wanjiko Kagiri, stepsister to Albert, USA, Kinudhi Wamwangi, former chairman National Transition Authority. She was an aunt to Faith, Mutua, Mutoni, Warukera, and many others. She was a grandmother to Andrew, Josie, Kelvin, and many others. Friends and family are meeting daily at her home, Pwani in Njoro. The cottage will leave Igaton University Mog, Njoro, on Wednesday, 24th January 2024 at 8 a.m. for funeral services and burial in Pwani, Njoro. Rest in peace in the blossoms of the Lord. We loved you, but God loved you more. This event will be live on Capuchin TV and on our social media platforms. Eternal rest grant unto Benedict Wairimo Itari, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Welcome to Tangaza University College, a multicultural community of holistic formation rooted in gospel values. Our academic programs include postgraduate, undergraduate degrees, diplomas, and certificate courses. At Tangaza University College, we pride ourselves as the leading college in inclusivity with all our learning facilities attuned to accommodate students with special needs. Delight in an ambient environment, professional lecturers and world-class learning facilities including a spacious well-equipped library, a research center, science laboratories and a multimedia studio. Our full-time and part-time intakes are open in January, May and August every year. We also offer holiday-based programs in April 
August and December. For more information about our courses and enrollment procedure, visit us along Langatsa South Road in Karen, Nairobi, or visit our website at www.tangaza.ac.ke. For remote inquiries, send an email to inquiries at tangaza.ac.ke or call us on 0722-204-724. Or zero seven three three six eight five zero five nine. Enroll now for our competitive PhD, Masters, Bachelors, Diplomas, and Certificate courses. Tangaza University College, teaching minds, touching hearts, and transforming lives. Here comes the grand event of Africa, Africa Cup of Nations 2023. Watching all the stars of 24 countries for one champion. See traditional powerhouses defending their glory. And watch out. He tried to cross it in. Dark horses are racing for the top. Surely the winner. Try your best and lift the trophy. Start Time Sports. Beyond Passion. Microfinance Bank imejitolea muhanga kwa kuwawezesha wa Kenya kupata fedha kwa urahisi ili kujenga rasilimali na kujiendeleza. Maisha ya jamii yamebadilika na kuimarika. Msingi wa jamii ni utulivu wa familia iliyoimarika. Ukiwa na mradi unayohitaji kuimarishwa, tuna utu. Karibu zungumze nasi. Caritas Microfinance Bank. Imarika, imarika we. For close to 40 years, the Catholic University of Eastern Africa has stood out as a regional hub for creating success stories. At Quaya, we are known for developing lifelong skills, shaping destinies, and forming innovative and transformative leaders for the industry and the society. Ours is an exciting student experience in a rich multicultural environment to empower dreams for the future. Welcome to the Catholic University of Eastern Africa. Welcome to a haven of tranquility, the Ukweli Pastoral and Development Center, nestled in the heart of the breathtaking Kisumu countryside. Ukweli Pastoral Center is owned by the Archdiocese of Kisumu and is run by the Franciscan Sisters of St. Anne, Luak. It's located along Kisumu Kakamega Road, about 10 kilometers from town. Discover the perfect setting for all your events. Ukweli Pastoral and Development Center in Kisumudala is your magical destination. We offer different services like wedding receptions, we offer um, uh, workshop facilities, we offer seminars, we offer also retreats and uh, recollections. The place is quite serene, beautiful environment, far from the town, noises. Our accommodations are a blend of elegance and comfort. 
including 12 ensuite pentagon-shaped cottages reflecting the charm of a traditional African homestead. You just come, we give you a cottage, you feel like that African setup. In our dining hall also, what is unique about Ukweli is that we offer very African foods. We have uji, we have potatoes, yeah, fish. <laughs> And even the kind of meals we offer, very African, very healthy meals of the garden, we don't really provide uh, meals that are chemically saturated. Marvel at stunning views in all directions, from the vibrant Kisumu business district along the shores of Lake Victoria to the awe-inspiring Nandi escarpments stretching to the horizons. What is unique about Ukweli is that it is far from town, from the noise of town, it's very serene and uh, we have sisters working there and it's a, a Christian organization where all, all and sundry are welcome to Ukweli Pastoral Center. Experience seamless connectivity with free internet and advanced audiovisual technologies available in all our meeting rooms. For gate space constraints, our expansive, beautifully manicured gardens and an extensive secured parking area guarantees a hassle-free experience for your guests. Concerned about costs? Our rates include bed and breakfast, full board and half board packages at amazingly pocket-friendly rates. If you choose to come to Ukweli Paso Center, it's very peaceful and we, our rates also are very affordable. We have a full board, half board, and you can also just come for meals at a very affordable rate. Step into the warmth of our hospitality, where our friendly, professional, and indomitable team is ready to make your stay exceptional. To experience the cool environment of Kisumu, come to Ukweli Paso Center, you'll be welcomed from the, right from the gate to the reception, to the dining, to the rooms. Yeah, we are very much welcoming people. We welcome uh, people from all walks of life, the children, the PMC, we welcome the youth, we welcome different groups, we welcome associations, we welcome uh, choirs, we welcome men, we welcome even uh, non-Catholics, as long as they have something which can really promote and develop the human person, human development. We offer those services to Ukweli. So we welcome everyone to come and see for themselves the beauty and the serene environment of Ukweli Pastoral Development Center. We are located near Kiboso Market of Kisumu Kakamega Highway in Kisumu. It's not enough to say, just come and see. Like Jesus, like Philip told Bartholomew, he can something good come from, uh, from, uh, from Nazareth. I also say a lot of good things can come from Ukweli Pastoral Center. Just come and see for yourself. For inquiries, call us at Telephone number 0112-812-878 or 0738-158-211. And our email is ukwelipastoralcenter at gmail.com or info at ukwelegardens.co.ke Ukweli Pastoral and Development Center Kisumu, your key to spiritual knowledge, reflection, and empowerment. Dr. Rudy Tena. Rudy. It's a very good place where we enjoyed, we have enjoyed our stay, and we shall come again. Karibu ni sana. Thank you. Thank you for choosing Ukweli. Thank you. Thank you. Waroko Utebi Ukweli Pastoral Center, Mrune Giwangu, Chimo Mamit, Kuonji Makare, Eluasi Maber, Kabisa Marili, Mugmar Kuonji Waroko Ute, Machigni Uru. Come one, come all. Karibuni ukweli, machegni ukweli dala. Kisumu city. Welcome home, Warwaki dala.